a warlock, gifted in the power of void. He was compressed by the darkness. The light was all he wanted. The light was all he sought. Though he may try, he may grow, and he may flourish. There will always be a time when the Void Walkers are needed. When the Void Walkers have to stand to grow. I myself was given a message, not of peace or tranquility, but a message of equalization, of balance, of truth. I was given the power of foresight, to see into the future, to see how I may fall in battle. This curse that was given to me was not given lightly. It wasn't given on a whim and much dubious outcome. I see myself standing way above the world, looking out at the darkness, and all of a sudden it's light. There it is. There it always has been. All I needed to do was to wipe away the darkness. I used the power of void to see the future. And I used the power of void. And so I look up and think, what gave me these gifts? Who gave me these gifts? And that's when I realized, well, I'm just telling a story. And yes, it is just a story. Although I do hope you guys kind of like these kind of stories and stuff like that. But let's get on to the most important part, which is my warlock. Check it out. Alrighty. So in today's video, we had that little bit of a speech. The, uh, that, uh, I guess graduation, coming of level speech, if you will. The coming of level speech has to do with something very specific right now, and that being my actual gear set. It is not set out the way that I really want it, but in a second it shall certainly be, and it shall be freaking awesome, and you'll be like, oh my god, he did it, no way. But as you guys will see right here, I have now officially hit 335. So, I am now max level. That is freaking awesome. I am cheering. Like, that is seriously super hyped. I did not think I would actually get to this. No trials, no raid. Look at this. No raid here. Look at this. No trials here. Alright, well, trials way back here. Like, very, very long time ago. But I haven't even touched King's Fall raid whatsoever. So, I went through and decided this morning that I would actually do a little bit of Court of Oryx and see if my luck has actually changed. Since the actual April update, I still hadn't received a 335 drop from the Court of Oryx. Today, that changed. I ended up going through and I got myself a damned loot and then I infused it onto the Warp Fragment just because this thing does look pretty cool and it is awesome for my actual Void Walk. We got Void Walk grenades have a chance to generate. Well, yeah, Void Walker Grants have a chance to generate orbs when killing a minion of the darkness. Now, this I seriously do like. It does proc a little bit more of using scatter grenades just because, well, scatter grenades are pretty freaking cool. But yeah, this is my 335 Warlock. It is looking freaking awesome. I am seriously hyped about it. All I have to do now is get my Titan and my uh, Hunter up to 335. That should be. I'm not saying very easy, but I do have about 47 or 48 exotics in the vault. So, stay tuned for a video that should be coming up. But quickly, I did actually want to give a quick shout out to Agar Vibes. Now, this guy wanted a shout out. He commented on my last video, so I was like, yes, why not, good sir? I shall give you a shout out. Anyone out there, if you guys want a shout out and you got a YouTube channel that is up and coming or anything like that, leave a like down below, leave a comment, and subscribe. Definitely, I shall give you guys a shout out. Just list shout out, mention shout out down there in the comment section. Do all that good stuff, and I'll be cheering like Kieran if he was Ed Sharon. But this is Zach Novak with my 335 Warlock. 
on the mission to get the 335 Hunter and Titan. Sunny out. Peace out.